Testing, one, two, one, two. Can I be heard? Is it on? Is it on? Okay, coolio. Let me just um, do tweet things and shit. Guess I'm appropriately hype music going. Do get some suggestions for games in, folks. Now oh, this is banning. Hope you're having a good evening, a good Saturday. Hello to who's in the chat? We have hello to Ape vs Game, David McDermott, Casey Wallplays, B Token, Belucious, Demon, Heco Aficious, Mike Coffey, uh, Zilix Billy, did I say you already? Anthony Roberts, uh, Matthew Major, VSU Man, Casey Wallplays, Grizz Frank, uh, Crane Experience. There's a whole bunch of you. It's good to see. Boom, 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 boom. Got a lot of suggestions coming in already. Um, just to forewarn you, there's going to be no cam tonight because I've literally had no time to set this up. So, um, yeah, there won't be any cam. Which, yeah, might be a blessing and a curse because I've had a very busy day. We've had a new kitten. You might have seen on Twitter. So, um, yeah, that's, that's the current background for the stream. <laughs> Keep those suggestions coming, folks. Hello to Hollis Miller, Dan Mann, the almighty Mick Berry, Lucid Flight, Top 10 Retro, Daniel Smith. Plenty of suggestions already. Quipton Factor, hell no. Cassette 50, I'm never going to play that again in my life, KC. Dizzy? Hmm. Thanks for the positive comments on the cassette video. Chuck Rock, haven't played that game in ages. Hmm, that might be fun. Slurpee on the C64. Just to let you know, guys, if you haven't watched the stream before, what we have as far as games go, or, well, emulators go, we have a C64, Spectrum, Mega Drive, NES, SNES, and Amiga. Shut that off now. So those are the suggest. Those are the um, emulators you have at disposal. I have most anything that is on said systems. So um, do feel free to pick one. Uh, the Specky emulator should be working. It wasn't working yes last time we streamed, but it should be working today. I have tested it. Uh, Gunstar Heroes, Trash Man. Is that a Specky game? I think so. Hello to Gail T, Adam Demeter. Two Gunstar Heroes suggestions. Mm, can play Gunstar Heroes maybe a little bit later. 
Uh, let's see. What's this Trash Man? Trash Man. I do believe it's a specy game. I might be totally wrong about that. Uh, let's see. Robocop on C64. Oh dear. Action 52 for Liness. Uh, I don't think I'm playing any compilation anytime soon. Data Storm. Chaos. Um, let's play... Trash Man? Trash Man? That's something kind of interesting I've not seen. Yeah, there it is. Let's have a look at this. You can all see that all right on stream, can't you? And that doesn't look too bad. How am I getting on with the SD2? I see you getting on great with it, mate. Absolutely great. Thank you so much for that. You're genuine lifesaver. It's going very well. Done plenty of capture on that already. <laughs> right, okay, so this is a game then called Trash Man. Um, not sure if I've ever actually played it before. Not sure what it has. Play this for a bit, then maybe have a look at some of the other suggestions that you've put in. Trash Man required. Must be alert, nimble-footed, and able to hold his drink. Okay. Amazing that I have to scroll through to actually get the um, letters up when the specky has a keyboard. Would I say that Cassette 50 is worse than Little Britain? It's definitely up there. Yep, that's the name. That's the name I want to put in. Right, Trashman Kim, go and collect five bins from Montague Road. But yeah, I mean, Cassette 50 is bad. Like, in... Oops. Like, on a whole nother level than perhaps anything. Okay, so I already got killed. Excellent. I was killed in Montague Road... And I was certainly wasn't nominated for Trashman of the Year, I don't think. Come on, let's collect some bins. Can I not get in there? Okay. Collect some bins and try not to be viciously killed. I take it that's one there. Okay. Have to stay off the grass, righto. Hey, where are you going? Don't kill me, God. I tell you, at least these cars have no consideration for human life. Okay. So I've got the bin. How do I put it in the bloody trash compacts now? Or do I have to actually put it back? Jesus. Right. Okay. <laughs> what was the worst movie you've ever seen? Um, phew, God. Worst movie I have ever seen. Hmm. I've seen some pretty bad ones in my time. Um, as far as sheer incompetence goes, I have to be kind of obvious and say Manos the Hands of Fate. Like, that is just unbelievably useless. Now I have to put the Kim back. I, I kind of figured that just before I died horribly. Why is this asshole moving? Trash compactors trolling me. And then put the bin back. Okay. Right oh. How about elite on the Take this fin away, my son is obsessed with it. Right. Uh, no one will ever be Whoa god. Oh my god Did you see that maniac Claire? Look at that maniac go. Man, he, he just didn't see me, I guess. <laughs> Jesus, that guy was speeding. You only get one knife. Oh, God. Who knew being a trash man was so dangerous? <laughs> this is quite fun. Hey, Slushy, good to see you.
Trash man has a swear key. Chris here, fifth doesn't seem to be working. It doesn't look like it should be a busy street. I mean, there's only two lanes. Right, okay. Okay, open the gate. Go get that trash. It's kind of nice being on this side of the road, because at least you don't have to cross the road when you're here. Bullshit. No, no, put the bin down. There you go. This is a regular in people's top specy games. I can see why. It's kind of fun. <laughs> when you get the grit to grips of it, it's fun. Come and see the computer my auntie gave me. It kind of makes me fearful. I worry, I worry that I'm going to be killed. Oh good, I thought I might need a license for it. Right, okay, let's get that bin. Get them bins! We've had complaints about your activities in Montague Road. Oh, what? Come on, man. Seriously? Was that because I went on the grass that one time? No. I've got to do my job, son. I don't have time to look at your stupid computer. Don't die. Please don't die. Please don't die. Okay. Stop moving away from me. Now I've got to go ages to get the bloody trash bang. <sighs> Right, come on, please don't die. <sighs> Hello to Steve Jennings, welcome to the stream. Stop picking the bin up, there you go. Oh, okay, I have to go in to get the bonus up, why though? Fair enough. Keep off the grass, I've taken the bother to use my hover. Oh shit, I'm on the grass! What? Phantom bloody grass behind the bloody wall there. This is going to be really tight now. There we go. Ugh, now where even was this bin? This is going to be a mad dash. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no, I'm not, I'm not going to make it. Oh, and I got killed anyway. Wait. <laughs> okay, one more. One more for this one. It's a good game. This is a really good game. It's really interesting. I've been a while since I've played something quite like this on Specky. <laughs> Seriously makes a trash man seem like being the most exciting job. The most dangerous job. Lawn Boys Post 1975 did a video on this game a while back. Cool. Do I want a tip? Hell yeah. <laughs> Sexy biscuits. <laughs> Lombards is... Oh, shit. God, get off that grass. Don't die. Don't die. Please don't die. Right, and on we go. Whoa, bloody hell. 
When did this come out? Um, 1984, I believe it said. Am I on the JDs tonight? No. Haven't had a chance to get any drink whatsoever. Perfectly sober evening. Oh, okay. Need to get a bit of a bonus. <coughs> Has this had a PS4 remaster? Sadly not. It certainly deserves one, I think. Come on, trash man. Oh, God. Please don't make me wait. Ah, God, get off that grass. Stop picking the bin up. There you go. Right. What do you think was the worst computer you could get in the 80s? Um, well, that's obvious, an Amstrad CP... No, I'm, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. Please don't anyone hit me for that. Um, I don't know. Okay, so that was five bins, so what now? Getting a bonus. I guess it kind of depends on what sort of computer you want, really. <laughs> Hey, okay. I mean, if you want games, then I guess you'd I'd say one that didn't really do games as much, like I don't know, a Jupiter Ace or something, which didn't really do games at all. But then that might be good for other things. It's all on a case by case basis. Although I don't know, Wheel Answer might be the QL or something like that. As a computer, that wasn't exactly good at what it was marketed for. But even that has its fans. Every computer has its fans. Come and look at my Spectrum with 4 megabyte memory. I was only joking. I was only joking, everybody. I'm sorry. Ah, shit! Some people saying Oric 1. Don't really know anything about Oryx. Kind of wanted to learn for a while. And Dragon 32s I don't know much about either. Tandy Howes, Sharpim Z700, IBM XT. Okay, let's pick another game. Let's choose another game here. The Jupiter Ace didn't even have basic. It has a cool name. <laughs> it has a very cool name. I mean, Jupiter Ace, you can't go on with a name like that, can't you? Yeah, Big West Purdue, that's actually not a bad answer, just a bad, a generally bad IBM PC would be one. That game was really good. I don't think I've actually played Trashman before. That is a really interesting game. Really quite like the look of sound playing that. Gunstar Heroes I might play a bit later. If I play Gunstar Heroes, then I'm probably going to play that, well, most of the way through. So I'm going to play that one later. I like playing Gunstar Heroes. Evo Search for Eden. That's another game I've never played. Um, FIFA 95. Hmm, okay. FIFA 95 is not a bad suggestion. I could do with playing an old FIFA. Paperboy also isn't a bad suggestion. Maybe, um, what I might do... Maybe a little bit of Paperboy. I've had a few requests for that already. Anyone know if the kickoff game on PS4 is worth picking up? Um... I've not played it myself. I know it has a few fans. It also has a lot of people who really aren't fans of it. I don't know. It's a very different thing, so yeah. It, did, it didn't review well, I don't think, but... There are some people who like it. Fantasia on the Mega Drive. Ugh, no. God, no. 
Yeah, let's have a bit of paper boy for the specky. Someone said they heard the Amiga version of Out One is woeful. It is. The Amiga version of Out One is basically um an, a rubbish Atari ST port. And it runs terribly. <coughs> I mean, the fact that it's an Atari ST port isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it's just a bad port in general, whether you're playing it on the Amiga or Atari ST. I'm not sure, actually, if... Out One didn't get a good port for the Spectrum. I have not played the Amstrad version, but I imagine it's pretty similar to the Spectrum one. I don't think it really ever got a good computer port. Right, okay, let's play some Paperboy. How did giving up smoking go? Um, it's up and down at the moment. I have good days and bad days when it comes to that. I used to play this game a ton. I haven't played this version in ages. Shit, missed one. I've no, Not that I've ever actually been good at Paperboy. I used to play Paperboy 2 for the Mega Drive quite a lot, actually, as well. Come on, where's those houses? Show me those houses. Ugh, gotcha. Yeah, maybe, Raddy Duff. I just don't... I don't think any computer managed to grab the essence of it. I mean, I think it, it could be done... It could have been done, it just wasn't done well by the people who did it. By whoever US Gold got for it. Um, Probe, I think it was. I mean, like, there are other games like similar to that on computers that were done brilliantly. I mean, I think if you can do Chase HQ brilliantly on a Spectrum, and like Super Hanon really good on an Amiga, you could definitely do that one as well, but they just didn't manage it. Olav Larson says, did they ever make a paper girl? Uh, you can play, if you play Paperboy 2, you can play as a paper girl on that. I have to remember to actually hit those targets there. So we lost uh, four houses because of my shit aim. And we're on to Tuesday. I've never got through a whole week on Paperboy. I always die. Damn it. Bloody bins in the way. I always found this game pretty bullshit. I mean, the, the houses on this street are very bloody picky, aren't they? I mean, the paper's at or near the... Ouch. The paper boy is at or near the house. So, you know, just pick it up. Does it have to be exactly in the bloody ma mailbox? Or on the doorstep? You know, no. If the paper's at the front of the house, then it's there. So why are these people being such pricks? I mean, look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, God, I hate those tyres. That's not my fault. Jeez, there's a lot going on tonight. There's a WWE tournament, apparently. I saw people are saying in the chat. Last night of AGDQ as well. Oops, shit. Killed a flower. Oh, God, I hate these tyres. Oh, damn it, I wasn't... Ugh. Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge, indeed. What a game that is. Great, great game. Damn it. I guess, um, Olav, um, yeah. I mean, over here, I don't think any paper boy throws anything anyway. <laughs> Nor do you really see them on bikes.
Oof. This game gets so hard so quickly. Hello to DJ Slope in the chat. Um, have I pre-ordered a Switch? No, I haven't, and um, I'm not going to. I don't really have... <coughs> Ugh, excuse me. I don't really have any interest in it. I mean, certainly not when it first comes out. I mean, what's there? Just Zelda, basically, isn't it, from what I know? And, yeah, just, yeah. In the first instance, I'm... Oh, God. I'm going to be killed if I stay here. Oh, God, that fucking tire again. Yeah, I mean, I just, yeah. Nintendo stuff after the Wii U, which I bought and never played anything of. Yeah, Nintendo's got a ways to interest me again. Shit. I mean, so yeah, that's kind of my thoughts on it. I mean, it'll have its fans, but uh, I haven't really touched much of Nintendo in so long now. It's just like, meh. Thank you. Thank you for the chat for blessing me. Thank you so much. <laughs> I knew I could depend on you. I mean, I think, again, the thing is with the Switch, I mean, I'll be interested if there's going to be you know, plenty of good things coming out for it. I mean, if it gets that sort of third-party interest, because for me, um, if it's just Nintendo alone, as the Wii U was pretty much, there ain't going to be enough on there for it, for it to appeal to me. If it's just like Zelda, Mario, and Splatoon, Super Smash, and all that, then it's, yeah, just a bit meh. Shit. I don't even know how many houses I've got left. Oh god, double tire attack. Got past it. Damn tire blocked my sodding... Ugh. Well, we're on to Friday, which is generally better than I do usually. And there's just two houses on the street. <laughs> ah, God, stupid old man. The designer of the SID chip virtually hasn't heard any SID music at all. That's interesting. I mean, Bob Yanis kind of... He went into other sorts of synths after um, the Commodore. What game am I most looking forward shit to in 2017? Um, is that it? Yeah. Mm. What am I looking forward to in 2017? I don't really know. Um, I don't even know what's coming out. I'm so bad. Um, is Final Fantasy VII coming out this year? I know that the new Kojima game isn't coming out this year. Shout outs to Buntins and Bootins, Anthony. No problemo. Shout out to Chris Gares. Hope you're enjoying the stream. Yeah, it kind of was Walter. I mean, the C64 in and of itself was designed in such a short amount of time. Like, such a short amount of time. Like, the guys who made it, like Al Charpentier, Bob Yanis and all that did magic in that time, which is pretty unbelievable. Right, what to play next? We've done Paperboy. Uh, what else did people suggest? Give me some more suggestions. Such a good game. Is Red Dead 2 out this year? Oh, if Red Dead 2 is out this year, then that's definitely one. If that's actually out in 2017. I know, what, what were people suggesting? I, I kind of said, oh, I'll do one, and then I'll do this, and then I'll do another. <laughs> Shout-outs to Critch.
Oh no, we're definitely not Specky only. We have loads more than Specky. Kin of Demons, SNES. Mick Berry suggests Toe Jam and Nero, and because Mick Berry's done really solid to me this week, then I'm going to go with his suggestion. Sorry, folks. <laughs> definitely got to go with Mick's suggestion on that one. Right, there's the Specky. I mean, there's the Mega Drive and Specky. Let's play a bit of Toe Jam and Earl. A true classic. <laughs> bunch of other good suggestions. I'm trying to watch like all your suggestions here. A lot of them are coming. Definitely a few that I might play later. Mayhem in Monsterland we did last stream. True Lies on the SNES, that's a good one. Chuck Wock is also a good one. Zombies is another good one. <laughs> I've got to let the intro play out of this. Big rapping L. Yo, sup. Yeah, I think I'm agreed on that, Big West Purdue. This and um, obviously Streets of Rage 2 are a cut above. I mean, this is like the best, just the best co op game. Earthworm Jim. <laughs> yeah, hopefully the new Toe Gem and does come out soon. I'd like, I like, I'd like to see where that's actually going to go. Creatures for the C64, good suggestion. What time am I on till? I'm probably going to be on until about. It's not going to be a long stream tonight. About ten, half ten. I'd say. Okay, let's play. Um, I'm going to play as Earl. In a random world. Matthew Major suggests Wrestle War. <laughs> <laughs> Wrestle War might be a good game. If I play Wrestle War, then guaranteed I'll be able to complete it on stream. <laughs> right, okay, what um, what have we got? What have we got? Got some high tops, got some... What's here? I want to see if I get Icarus wins. What was that? That's useless. That's also useless. A fudge Sunday, that's also useless. Oh god. Fuck off, George, you're a cunt. There we go. Fireman's a really good game. A game that doesn't get enough love. Hmm. I was really hoping on that first stage there to get some Icarus wins. Did I ever play on the Philips CDI? Um, alas, no. There's definitely some stuff I'm really kind of curious about seeing on the CDI, but I've never had one. Yeah, 
Now, there wasn't a shit piece in this level, was there? No, I don't think so. <laughs> See if I can find any more presents. Have I got anything that I haven't opened? No, okay. Saboteur is a game I'm absolutely terrible at. I love the look of it. It's an amazing looking game, but I'm just awful at it. Just absolutely pathetic. Um, doesn't seem to be that much around here. I'm trying desperately to look for some more prezzies. Find the good power-ups and the bad. Ooh. Oh my god. Mate, <laughs> this guy is really a sad bastard, isn't he? Can I get this without being killed? Yes, I can. Okay. The only way to truly play CDI is with the massive trackable mouse. <laughs> the controls for the CDI just look so awesome. I especially love to play it with a bloody um Yeah, with that it's the ball on the remote, isn't it? It's just like holy shit, how does anyone play anything like that? But then obviously there were a lot of things on the CDI that weren't games. Like, you know, the lost the pictures of Robert Maplethorpe, the flowers of Robert Maplethorpe. Jurassic Park Lost World on the Mega Drive. That's a good one. Not one I've played in ages, but all the old shit piece. Jurassic Park games on the Mega Drive generally were good. Right, let's find that chip piece. While chilling out to this awesome music. You just can't help but be chilled when playing this game. Hey there, bud. Do I have a buck? Yeah, there we go. That was quick enough. The righteous webmaster capsule. You have a CDI with Zelda, Daniel. Worth a bit of money in all likelihood. <laughs> Please don't be a bad mailbox. No, it's just mail order. Cool. Okay, that's... <laughs> I've never seen that before. That's a nice glitch. The present is stuck in the mailbox, so I can't get it. <laughs> nice one. Right, okay, now i just got to find the elevator. Let's see what these presents are as well. A slingshot, nice. Elevator there? No, where am I? Right on the top left. Okay. No, I really struggle to grab Santa on this too. It's really hard. You've really got to sneak up on the motherfucker. Ugh, God. Oop, don't like those. They tend to kill me pretty quickly. Where did that one come from? Ugh, didn't want to eat that. Ugh, cabbage. Um, I don't think it's here in the top left. Oh, neat. Ah, get out my way! Get out my way! Shit! Get out of that! Out the way. Hmm, let's see. Could I play Rockstar Ate My Hamster but form the band out of the great stars we lost in 2016, Lim Lemmy, Barry, Prince and George M? That's not a bad idea, actually. 
That's not a bad idea at all. Oh my god. Does this cunt have nothing better to do with his time of a Saturday night? <laughs> Jesus, what a loser. Here, here we go. Oh, cool, ship. Back to back ship pieces. To be honest, Alex Billy, I don't care if he's the wheel thin or not. The wheel ones are prick as well. <laughs> mm, being blunt about it, he just is. Avoid that Cupid, stupid Cupid. Yeah, it's just amusing, Dan. It's just funny. Cabbage bad, watermelon good. Watermelon is sweet, that's why. Let's see some presents. Ouch. Daniel Critchley asks, Kim, what is better, Master System or Ness? I want a wheel answer this time. Uh, yeah, well. <clears throat> My real answer is... Well, shit, rocket boots. I would have to say, as far as... I mean, the Ness has more... has better games on it. And more of those, so you know, I kind of have to say Liness, but the ma but the Master System is great as well. It's just oh shit! Oh god, the mailbox! Fuck the mailbox! Ouch! 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 Ugh, that hurt. And I couldn't even get Santa thanks to that. A total bummer and a mailbox. Talk about the bad luck. Um, I haven't got the ship piece yet either, so I can't even go to the elevator. I'm definitely looking at. I'm definitely looking forward to Tojum and L4. And I like. Yeah, I liked um, Big West Purdue. I I really liked Tojum and L2 as well. I think it's a brilliant game. Um, sure, it's completely different to this one, and obviously not as unique. But I like. I like Tojum and L2 a lot. I think it's a really good platformer with awesome graphics and awesome art style. It's just not as um. Obviously unique as this game is, because there's nothing like this on the Mega Drive, or in a lot of places really, there's not much like this. Whoops. <coughs> Matthew Major asks, what did I think of Wrestle Kingdom, or have I not had a chance to watch it yet? Um, I had a chance to check out the main event, uh, Akada vs Amiga. What a match that was. What a great match. Um, one of the best matches I've ever seen, actually. I mean, Kenny Amiga's performance in that match was off the charts. That's just how good it was. I think, for me, he's he's got to win that IWGB title sooner rather than later. I mean, I'm not surprised he didn't win it at Wrestle Kingdom. I mean, I thought it was probably the right choice for Okada to win that match. But I think Amiga's got to win at, like, Dominion in June. Can you pick out some items for me, please? Root beer. Yeah, that's all I got. Uh, Casey World plays. Is this the Mega Drive's only rogue like? Um, no. Um, Fatal Labyrinth is classed as a rogue like as well. 
Master System has definitely has more than 10 good games. Definitely. It's got... Master System has got Fantasy Star, it's got Power Strike, uh, Alex Kidd in Shinobi World, Alex Kidd in Miracle World, um, Ken Siden, Enduro Racer, um, what else has it got? Zillion, Ease, that's more than 10 in it. Chase HQ is good on the Master System, I think. Ah, thank God. Choplifter. Did I play NES back in the day? Um, mean, being that we are in the UK, my friends and I had Master System. Most of my friends and me had Master System. I had one friend with a NES. I did have one friend who had a NES. And we used to play a Double Dragon 2 on it. So I did play a bit of NES, but not near as much as Master System. What's better, Dragon's Fury or Dragon's Revenge? A Dragon's Fury, absolutely no contest. Dragon's Revenge is kind of shit. That Master System game, that was pretty much like Castlevania, except it was based in London and you tracked down Jack the Ripper. Um, I believe that was Master of Darkness. It wasn't... Kensington is traditionally the biggest Castlevania ripoff on um, Master System, but there is that one too. Have I ever played Night Law on the FDS, on the Famicom Disk System? Wow, I can't believe this. Can you believe this luck? Three ship piece levels in a row. It is good luck we're getting. Bit down on lives though. Whoa, come on. Out, oh, wait. Shit, I'm gonna run out of land here. Oh yeah, of course I understand all the Wonder Boy games. Yeah, that's those are those are more good games for the Master System. Space Harrier, that's another. Hey shit. Go away, ow. Well, finally, you get to see a road. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Let's see if we've got more decent power-ups. Hmm. Not so useful at the moment. Hey, talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me, you carrot head. What's that? Hmm. Oh, okay. That's kind of a waste, actually. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, I got through Friday the 13th just fine. Um, where are we at? I keep following the road. Ever played the Intellivision? Uh, I've played Intellivision Lives, the compilation, if that counts. I've never played an actual in television. Now that's the end of the road. Not much there. Now Streets of Rage is not good on Master System, nor is Streets of Rage 2. So that doesn't really count. Hanon's another good Master System. Actually, you know what's brilliant on the Master System? Road Rash. Road Rash has a fantastic Master System conversion. I would also say that Battle Out 1 is good on the Master System, and indeed Out 1 itself. Like, the Master System Out 1 is probably my favourite version of that game. Home version, anyway. Kim, which is better, SNES or Mega Drive? Mega Drive, no contest. Uh, let's get some speed up. Try and rush to that piece. Right, okay, there's the piece. So we got three ship pieces, that's not bad going for so early in the game. Really not bad going at all. Oh, and we got an extra life, nice one. Meep, meep. 
Meep, meep. Where are we? We uncovered most of the map. It's got to be either. I reckon it's got to be up a little bit up. Ah, uh, no, no, there it is. No. Fox's Glacier or Mint Imperial? Uh, Fox's Glacier, I reckon. I like both, though. Am I drunk? Um, I'm not drunk. Okay, no ship piece on this level. Uh, wise 2, Trillane. Not that it's exactly much of a fight. Uh, gotta get out of this quicksand. So this is not a good start. Are we on an island? No, okay. They're both great systems, guys. They're both great systems, but yeah, I'm always going to go with Mega Drive. Nope, not even tipsy. I've not had a drink. I don't have any drink. I know it's crazy, but I don't have any drink. Shit. Give me, give me those high tops. Avoid the bread. Yeah, I wanted that bug. Where are we? Right, okay, we need to go to the left. Yeah, at least sand levels are the drizzling shits. Anything that can deal with this guy. No. Except for that. Ha! Evaded. It's got to be a passageway here, surely. God, can I even make this jump? Ugh. Ugh, got it. Oh. <laughs> Did not get it. Never mind. Game Boy or Game Gear? Game Boy. Really nasty little bits on that level there. Am I going to miss Katie Hopkins when she moves to America? Um, no. <laughs> mind, mind you, the fucker's still going to be around, isn't she? Just, she'll just be on like Twitter and shit more. Being irritating. Right, okay, there's the lift, thank god. A lot of... Guys, um, how long is the battery life on the Switch? Because a lot of people are saying it's really short. Like, how long is the actual battery life on it? Uh, Ginger Greek, the only reason why there's no cam tonight is just because I had very little time to actually set it up. And I just didn't have time to, like, do all the... Making yourself look good. Putting the green screen up. And all that, so I, I just didn't have time tonight to do that, so I don't have a cam on. That's the only reason. Uh, cleaning Columbine? Yeah, I'll be, I'll be around for like a couple of hours. Till about half ten, probably. Two and a half to six hours? Fucking hell, that is short. Uh, yes, guys, there is going to be a new series of Crystal Maze with um, Richard Ayoade as the host. Oh shit, Boogeyman. I need some high tops. 
Okay, so we've got a ship piece lurking around here somewhere. Three hours for me is way too short. It's, that's ridiculous. That is just ridiculous time. And especially say like three hours for a game like Zelda. Zelda's a game you generally play for a long time. So I don't know, that, that seems a bit of a, that, that's a bit jokes. See if we can speed past the boogeyman. We can. <laughs> what else have we got? Loads of fudge sundays. What's this? The decoy. Go on, go after the decoy. Leave me alone. Oh shit. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up, you silly. Kami 464, um, this is emulation. Just because it's, well, that's the easiest way to do this stuff on stream. What's here? Oh, okay. Anything? Nothing. Uh, I've never been to Ireland, Gailty. I'd love to go. I keep meaning to one of these days, just think, right, I should just set myself a weekend and go to Ireland. Because, I mean, I can get there pretty damn quick. Nah, shit, go away. Get lost. <coughs> Where can I go? There must be a hidden path somewhere. <sighs> this whole thing is like an island. Well, have, getting some Icarus wins would be nice, but I don't think I have any of those yet. No, I don't. <laughs> the bill or the wire? <laughs> Confession, I've never actually seen the wire. So I wouldn't be able to answer that question. <laughs> and I used to love the bill. Like, genuinely. <sighs> That just sounds like a cool offer, Gail. Where am I from in England? I'm from Essex. Oh, God. I hate these level sort of levels. Maybe. Hmm. Let's see now. What are my thoughts on the movie 2001 A Space Odyssey? It's one of the greats. A very, um, it's definitely a, a movie I have to be in a certain frame of mind to watch, though. <laughs> like, I wouldn't watch it after a night out <laughs> with mates or something like that. <laughs> well, maybe. Let's, let's try and be a bit risky here. This could work out badly, but... Do I have... Oh no, oh no, I do have spring shoes, right. Ugh. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> that was so bad. What team did this game? Um, this was um, Johnson and Vorsanje. JVP. Southern Fairy. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, mate. Okay, that's really bad now because I... Oh, God. I'm going to be going around for ages looking for some fucking hidden passage. Oh, God. And these belly dancers are well in the way. If only Tosh lines had been in the wire. 
I think Roach would have probably fit well in something like The Wire. Oh shit. Greatest game soundtrack on the Mega Drive. Eh, uh, Streets of Rage 2. Is there only ever one lifter? Yeah, Casey. Oh, cack. Oh, man. Oh, this is so bad. Oh, my God, look at how far we've got to go. I was hoping I'd be able to get there in time, but those stupid jumps stopped me. Oh, shit. Looking forward to the new Blade Runner movie? Um, yeah, no, meh. Aloha. Aloha. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'd be interested to see just what it is, but... Yeah. What do I think of the controversial Streets of Rage 3 soundtrack? I love the soundtrack to Streets of Rage 3, I don't care what anybody says. I absolutely love that soundtrack. It's my second favourite after two. I like that sort of music though. <coughs> Should Woolworths return to the British High Street? Meh. If, if it did, it'd just go bankrupt again. <laughs> there ain't much happening on the high street these days. Unless Woolworths like turned into like a pound shop or something. Which wouldn't be good. <laughs> Sly Boots, have I tried the Vibe or Rift yet? I've tried the Rift once, but it was a really bad like sort of game. Oh god, oh my god, that Boogeyman just missed me. Right, okay. If someone kickstarted an eSWAT movie, would you back it? Wouldn't that basically be Robocop? Right. Where the fuck do I go? Kim misses the pick and mix up. The pick and mix was lush. No, oh man. Buggeration. Somewhere here there is a path. And it's our job to find it. Oh god. Oh my lord, that was close. Well, yeah, exactly, Sly Boots. The shop had gone downhill. Yeah, Boots definitely. Boots sold games like back in the 80s and 90s. Hello to you, Nanette. Hey! There we go, we found the fin. Oh god, that's gonna be. You just know that is gonna be a bad mailbox. Staying well the fuck away from it. Ugh. Oh shit. Yeah, I knew it, I knew it. Oh god. Something, anything. Out of there. Out of there. So out of there. Still got to find the ship piece as well. She says, I can't believe Willies are doing so well in other places of the world, except for the place where they formed. I didn't know any of this, I just thought Woolworths had gone bankrupt completely. Oh god. Okay, there's the ship piece, it's the other side of the map. Wait! Yay! Need to try and find some bloody man. <coughs> I 
Oh yeah, wimpies are still around. Wimpies are still around where I live, but then they would be. Like, I know of, like, there's at least two wimpies close to me, which is probably pretty rare. Oh, shit. I don't think I'm going to get any tornado luck here, and that tornado is definitely going to get me. It's so getting me. Man, oh, God. These dodgers. Right. Santa keeps appearing, but I can't do anything about it. Where's that going to? Okay, maybe this is a bridge. Cool clutch. Right, we must be close to it. Mm, nearly. Okay, right. And there's another present. Uh, get it, get it, wait, no, fuck you! Oh my god, double fuck you. Look at this shit. Of all the luck, I'm gonna have to probably go down two levels here. I've got, I've got some sprint shoes. They might work. They're not gonna work, I'm gonna... Ugh. Oh! Oh no! Ugh, fuck balls. Right, okay, that's where we're at. Don't believe this son of a bitch. Have I ever bought any consoles day one or done any midnight queuing for games? No. Nope. I, I, I don't... As far as midnight queuing goes, I just don't see the point. I'd rather go to sleep. And day one... I never buy consoles day one because... Usually when... on Usually on day one, there's fuck all out for them. So, like... Knowing me, I play like the couple of games that might be there, and then I won't touch the thing for ages because because there won't be anything. Right, okay, one saving grace is that the lift is not far away. Oh fuck off, <laughs> God! Everything's coming up snake eyes at the moment. Oh, just about avoided the mole as well. Ugh. Have I played Finn on a sprint on the C64? Um, yes, I played that yesterday. I didn't... Meh. I mean, I played it for... Because um, I'm starting capture for the Gremlin vid. It's, um... Yeah, it's alright. Now, where was the sodding... Right, okay, it was up... It was up the top. Where we needed to go. There's never... as To my recollection, there's never been a Wendy's where I live. Never, ever. There it is. Yeah, the game has a fantastic soundtrack. Finn on the Spring has an amazing soundtrack. The game, less amazing. Piss off, you shitty bees. Right. Okay. Let's see now. That just take me back all the way back over to the bottom. Oh god, I wish these bees would fuck off. I don't have anything that can deal with them. No, nothing. Just food and inner tubes. <laughs> I have a bunch of inner tubes. Is this it? No, god. 
shit. Oh god, don't make me go backwards. Okay, we're not far away now from the ship piece, surely this time. Unless I get caught horribly by something. Right, there it is. Yay. We got the ship piece! Woohoo! Maybe we can finally get through the seventh stage. We also got another. I'm gonna need to see what this is, aren't I? Tomatoes! Nice. Oh shit. That's so bad. <laughs> Fuck you. Uh, shout outs to Dave, Tina, Caitlin, and Madison. Yeah, no, Walmart didn't last all that long over here either, but then they own Asda, so meh. Okay, we're through that level. Finally, we can see World 8. Um, I think, I don't think Rob Hubbard does music for, um, the games industry, but he does still do music. Okay, no ship piece unless. Oh, you definitely should, Russell Warren. So many awesome games. <laughs> Go away, Tornado. <laughs> okay, we're in the bottom, right. Oh, God, all this sand. Seriously. Oh god, I'm gonna lose some presents as well. Ha, you can't get me here. Right, there wasn't a ship piece. Ah, gold road. Did I pour some beer out on the pavement for Graham Taylor? Um, I didn't, but I did remember his um, exploits fondly. Linesman, linesman. <laughs> linesman, linesman! You go ahead and tell that ref, he's cost me my job. Great guy. Let's get that little present over there. Ah shit, motherfucker. Just got sniped. What's that present? A buck. Great. <laughs> Just keep on the road. Eh, you say Graham Taylor's the worst single manager. He looks like a he looks like Alf Ramsey compared to Steve McLaren, let's be honest. At least Graham Taylor managed to get the England team to one tournament. <laughs> to be honest, I think I'd rather have Graham Taylor than Roy Hodgson. Alright, come on. What's, what's this? Is it a good one? Icarus wins. Icarus wins! Fuck yeah. Get out of here. Get that shit out of here. Mind you, I've got to find somewhere to land pretty sharpish. Oh, come on. Suddenly this is going badly. I need to find some solid ground. Okay, here we go. Touchdown. And there's some more sprint shoes. Oh, 
what we got. Got some rocket skates. And some root beer. <laughs> God, God. Ah, there's a lift, thank God. Money. Can we get there without being killed? Oh, God, it's gonna... Jesus, come on. Take that pre- and post Robbie Williams. Uh, <laughs> never much cared for them. Yep, you can't you can't beat Big Sam as far as England managers go. 100% record, one and o. <laughs> What can you what can you say to that really? Okay, no ship piece. There's a Dunkin' Donuts in my town as well. I don't think I've ever been there though. I'm not I'm not big on donuts as such. Well, it depends, but. Not, mm, not that sort. Let's get that present. Let's get that present, let's see what it is. It's just more screen shoes. What's that? Oh, nothing. That's the present that's only useful in co-op mode. Okay, I don't think we did not in uncover any... Oh shit, the sinner. Chelsea or Tottenham for the league? Uh, Chelsea. I would say. I, I just can't see past them. My glory days of music. Uh, I like the mid um in my lifetime, like the mid nineties for me. Lizzie who, Gale T? Lizzie Birdsworth. I'm stuffed. Hmm. Kind of going nowhere so far. Where's that phone? Ugh. Is that the Echo Swins? Echo Swins would be good about now, it is. Right. Let's go flying! Fly, fly away. Hmm. Mm, completely pointless, but hey ho. I definitely could have found a better use for these wins, but I just love using them. Duck sauce. I used to love the Smashing Pumpkins. I saw the Smashing Pumpkins on their first um, farewell tour. Yeah, the Prodigy were pretty alright, Psycho Stalker. Here we go. Um, yeah, I saw the Pumpkins on their first farewell tour. They were... they were alright. Not much crowd interaction, but they played the music well. And it was still mostly the original band. Apparently I hear that the original bands were uniting. Which is interesting. No ship piece here on stage 10. Oh yeah, Lizzie Webb. Now I, rem I, now I remember her. I remember Lizzie Webb. Um, I'd, I'd have to go with Lizzie Webb in that fight. More Wicker Swins. Yay, how luck's improving. Where are we? Uh, bottom left. 
Any hidden passage over here, please? No? Fine, screw you. I could just... Oh, hang on. Ah, 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 hang on. I knew, I knew there was something over here. Shit, I'm gonna be killed if I don't do something drastic. Like that. <laughs> well, not killed, but I'm gonna lose a floor. Uh, I never reviewed the suffering, wee boy. Clive Sinclair or Alan Sugar? It's gotta be Clive Sinclair. Just gotta be. I reckon Clive would kick Alan's ass. He's kind of tall. He's he was quite fit back in his day. Kubrick or Kurosawa? Kurosawa, definitely. Clear that water. Clear that water. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit! 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 I've got rocket boots if I need them. What do I fancy from the Chinese? I usually have from the Chinese, I have um, s sweet and sour Kim Prawn balls. That's my usual fan. That's my jam. Kate Bush, love. I couldn't agree more. House of Pain or Beastie Boys? Not even a contest, come on. Beasties. Dave Benson Phillips or Fluella Benjamin? Got to be Fluella. Big Ted or Little Ted? Uh, Little Ted. It's not the dog in the fight, it's the fight in the dog. Any clues on my next documentary stroke upload, Kim? Um, my next upload will be on Monday. Um, it's going to be something, well, something that's about a pretty popular series of games that kind of reclaimed its former glory recently. Um, it's already up on Patreon for those folks. Singapore Vermicelli, that is nice. I do like that stuff. Oh, shit. Oh, God. At least it, is it taking me away? Please take me away. Go left, please. Please, don't kill me. Oh, come on, no, 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 oh, come on, yep, yep, please, please, let me go. Oh, don't, oh, God, it's dropped me in the water. <laughs> um, in case you here, those were some awkward comments. I mean, she didn't say she was a Tory. I don't know if what she said was just taken stupidly out of context, like it was just like, oh, I think it's good that there's a female Prime Minister. And then it was quoted as, oh, she thinks Theresa May's wonderful. If it was like something like that, it was, it was still a silly thing to say regardless. But hey, uh, I don't know. It was dispiriting. <laughs> Smiths or Cure? Uh, Smiths. Although I do love the cure as well, that's a hard one actually. It depends on the day. Cheese or chocolate? Uh, kind of a weird comparison that one. Cheese or chocolate? They're both... It's kind of weird, they're both made out of similar things, but are completely different. <laughs> uh, let's get that bug. I might need to use these rocket shoes. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need to use them. Go! Fly, my pretty! Oh, uh, God. Don't... Uh, don't go off the... Oh, no! Don't go off the edge! Shit ball! Oh, that's, that's all right, actually. We're pretty close to the lift. Oh, God, we nearly went <laughs> down another level. Oh. <sighs> Bloody hell. Did we really need a Poundland version of Maggie Thatcher? Uh, yeah, like a hole in the head. <laughs> Didn't Nicholas Sturgeon used to be a cranky? <laughs> God. <laughs> Oasis or Blur? Uh, mm, it got to be Blur for me. I certainly always liked Blur more. Okay, we're in a different spot now, actually. This might not have worked out as bad as... Um, it looked. <laughs> Daddy, your chips. 
<laughs> what do you like best, Daddy or Chips? <laughs> chips. <laughs> Marmite or caviar? Marmite. Definitely. Just a little bit. Just a little, little bit. And especially Marmite crisps are lush. Right, can I sneak up on you? No, okay. Chuckle Brothers or Chuckle Hounds? Yeah, yeah. You heard that as a racist or a blur. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, shit. Does my Poundland have a Christmas sale and we have a half-price sale on here in Ireland? <laughs> um, I haven't been in there to look. Casey Roll plays real ale or lager, real ale every time. I do like a bit of real ale. I don't... Well, it, it kind of depends, actually. If I'm in a pub, real ale, definitely. If I'm, at, if I'm around someone's house, I will usually buy, like, Corona. Or San Miguel or something like that. Or Desperados. I love Desperados. I like bottled more than I like pints. A pint of lager I don't like. A bottle of beer. Of like Corona or whatever. I do like. Peter Gabriel or Phil Collins? Gabriel. Unquestionable. <sighs> Fucking hell. We've uncovered this whole map and still not a sodden lift. It must be here in the top left. Bottom or the young ones? Bottom. One of my favourite shows of all time. Oh, it's there. It's right in the centre. Shit. 25p Christmas sale in Poundland. Awesome. <laughs> oh shit, it's on an island. Ah, finally those inner tubes come, to come in handy. Oh god. No, 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 fuck. That shit kills me. Oh god, this is a nightmare. Have I got any food? I have a fudge sundae. Fuck off, fucking bees. Fuck you, motherfucker. Oh god, why? Bloody hell. <laughs> uh, brick, this is called Toe Jam and L. Bucketronic, are there any good Mega Drive plug and, uh, plug and plays, like at games machines? Um, no. Cereal. Milk and cereal, 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 milk and cereal, cereal and milk. Bees or wasps? Um, bees are less likely to sting you and they make honey. So gotta be bees. Hey! Does that give me an extra life too? Oh god, no, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Where are we? Uh, what left? Uh, get lost. Oh shit, the random present. I might have to avoid that. Quavers or Watsits? Uh, Quavers. Definitely. Andrew Hughes, did I watch any of Awesome Games Done Quick? Uh, yeah, I've been watching quite a bit. I've been watching little bits here and there. Um, the odd one. Hey, five bucks. Yeah, so I, th I think it's been a good, um, it's been a good week. It's been one of the better ones, I think. I've really enjoyed it. Hey Arnold or Recess? Hey Arnold. Penguins or clubs? Uh, clubs. Heaven or perpetual reincarnation? Um, perpetual reincarnation. Heaven would get boring after a while. Being able to do anything you want isn't... Yeah. David Bowie or Freddie Mercury? Bowie. God. 
Oh shit, I've lost my presence. And I've just accidentally hooked in a wine cloud. <laughs> From mashing the button. Yeah, at games, um, machines do play cartridges. They're still not good. Twiglets or actual wooden twigs? Tough, but... <laughs> um, no, I don't mind twiglets, actually. They're alright, in small doses. Have I ever watched AVGN? Yeah, yeah, loads. I used to watch AVGN tons back in the day. Still do watch him every now and again. We all watched AVGN at some point, probably. Oh, damn. Dead end. Uh, dead end. Uh. I've watched Super Honey, a uh, Super Bunny Hop, a little bit. He does what he does well. Shoot magazine or match magazine? Uh, match. I used to get match quite a lot back in the mid nineties. Yeah, the AVGN still does stuff. Ginger Greek, um, angry video game nerd, James Wolf. Oh dear, we're in trouble here, lads. <laughs> oh no, that was the one fin. That was definitely the one fin. <laughs> Oh, thankfully we're right next to the lift. Ah, oh, God! I meant to, I meant to pick the doorway. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, right. Where are we? Day to day or brass tie? Um, God, that's a tough one. That is a really tough one. Man, brass eye. So close. Do I buy into any of the popular conspiracy theories? Uh, not really. Star Wars or The Empire Strikes Back? Empire Strikes Back. I would say. Hmm, where are we? Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Trek. As a bass player, do I admire Steve Harris for Mind Maiden? Yeah, I admire Steve Harris. Um, Steve Harris is such a strong bass player, like the way he does his, um, the way he plays the bass. Not just the fact that he does triplets, but the way he does them is ridiculous. Right, come on, maybe this will give me something. What football team do I support? I support Southend United. Do I like kickoff? Uh, not really, no. Face or Mr. T? Mr. T! Do I remember a TV programme on UK telly where they designed some of the characters from Putty Putty Squad? I don't, unfortunately. Eh, uh, yeah? <laughs> I like that. Oh, <laughs> Jack or Vera? Eh, uh, Vera. Is this the way to Amarillo? Eh, uh, well. I don't think so. I've been on the train and every night I've been hugging my pillow, but... Nah. I've not actually seen Four Lions. I've, I've, I've been meaning to see it for years. I keep thinking, oh, I should watch Four Lions. And then I don't. It's kind of ridiculous. Bad form. But to watch Star Trek, uh, Next Generation is my favourite. Without a doubt. Oh, come on, there must be something around here. No? Okay. Maybe there's something to the left. What do I think were the most important parts of an old microcomputer apart from good games? Um, apart from good games? I think the storage medium was a very important part, how easy it was to do games. Um, I think a lot of the reason why you know, tapes and discs kind of thrived more than like cartridges did is just because of how cheap the storage medium was. So I think that's a pretty important part. Um, and obviously again it depends on where you are. I mean product productivity software is important, obviously if you're like in an office. So you know actually having no, that software on. Okay there's the lift, away.
Any plans for another music video in 2017? Um, no, I'm not at uni anymore. I'm afraid. Yeah, Violet Berlin does stuff behind the scenes now, I believe. Ugh, stage 12, bloody hell. Demon Albert, why now or EasyJet? Um, EasyJet. Yeah, cost two, Russell. It's a good one. Oh no! Not the randomizer. <laughs> Not the fucking randomizer. Oh no. That's so bad. That is so, so bad. Ugh, not as bad as that. Yeah, Deep Space Nine's alright. But TN TNG was kind of my series. Oh no, this is. Oh, Wickerus wins, okay. Where are we? Right. Let's do a bit of flying. Trillane, um, digitizer or games pages on CFAX. Digitizer, man. Oh god, where are we going? Where are we going? Shit, go down, go down, go down. Who knows where Andy Crane is now? <laughs> Don't want to speculate on that, really. Right, where are we? There's a road, okay. Yeah, go, get that dummy. Tim and Derek or Vic and Bob? Vic and Bob. For show. Has to be Vic and Bob. Yeah, Wine Geeks in 1994 and 94 was pretty good looking. Shout outs to Comic Book Guy. Or Commie Book Guy. Oh, I've got too many presents, I'm going to have to use some. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one, though. Yeah, digi Mr. Biffo is really active these days. Digitizer 2000 is really cool. Shit! Oh, that is horrible. Oh, God. Oh, fucking hell. Bloody presents. <laughs> oh, man. I'm gonna lose some. You dare poke me. I played Bamboozle a bit, yeah? I used to like that. I used to play that whenever we went round... Whenever someone had to babysit me and I had to go round their house. And usually I think the person I used to be babysit at had, um, had CFAX. Had Bamboozled. Because we didn't have CFAX at home, believe it or not. So I used to play Bamboozled that way. God, we're so far down. Still want to open some of these presents. Great, and in the tube. Really useful in this stage. Oh, God. Take those presents, thank you. Andy Crane is trapped in that broom cupboard. <laughs> The shitty Danger Mouse reboot. I wasn't aware of such a thing. Life seemed to make sense before I was. Where are we? Nam oh, fuck! I was looking at the chat. I was looking at the chat. <laughs> I was looking at you guys saying that Namwood was shooting up heroin. <laughs> oh man, this this stage is not going well. Oh yeah, thanks. Hey Mole, hey you alright? You wanna take some more presents? Yeah, you wanna take some more presents? Yeah, there you go. Fucking asshole. Oh yeah, no, go on. Go on, you take some too. 
You take some too. Thanks. Oh no, no, you go on, go on, come take some more. Coca Tony will for Chucky Egg. Mm, probably Chucky Egg. <laughs> Edla Duck or Gordon the Gopher? Um, I'd say Edla Duck. <sighs> right, this stage, again. Go away. Ugh. Is this going to go anywhere? Yes, yes. Okay. Should Nightmare be remade? Um, only if Hugo might still wanted to do it. Yeah, we might have to go to the next game soon. Because we're kind of... <laughs> I don't know, I am kind of want to see what happens here, but... Tojo Morel, you're looking at my answer right now. Will Ferrell or Ebola? Um, well, that seems pretty harsh. I mean, I actually like Tanker Man a lot. <laughs> so based on that... <laughs> okay, uh, um... Uh, right, okay, I'm gonna, um... Uh, I'm gonna stand up for a bit, actually. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to the next game. So put some suggestions in. I think we've been playing Toja Manel long enough. Yeah, I think one of the troubles with remaking Nightmare, I think a lot of what made Nightmare, I mean, not it wasn't just, it wasn't just you know, triggered and all that. It was kind of the way like it looked and that. I think if you like kind of did it and you'd kind of have to do it modernized probably if you remade it, and it would it wouldn't have the charm anymore. I don't think. Tony Hart or Neil Buchanan? Uh, Got to go with Neil Buchanan because he was part of my childhood. Um. Roy Walker or Jim Bowen? Got to be Roy Walker. Slayer or Metallica? Metallica. Uh, Megadeth or Metallica? Oh, that's a tough one. Megadeth or Metallica? Uh, Megadeth have the best album of both of them. Rust in Peace. And based on that, I'd probably have to go with them. Although they have a lot more shit albums. John Fashanu was a dirty bastard. Just ask Gary Merritt. John Fashanu's a cunt. John Fashano is a fucking twit. Well, I mean, he certainly was back in the day anyway. What do I think of the Channel 4 we make in Crystal Maze? I'm interested to see how it'll look. In interested to see what happens there. As you can tell, this is one of my bad days for quitting smoking. Yeah, that is a pretty easy one, Sly Boots. The band still wins every time. <laughs> Bob Ross or Painting with Nancy on TV? Bob Ross. Slipknot or Cradle of Filth? Gotta be the filth. Did I watch Noel's House Party and Gladiator on a Saturday night? Uh, yes, I did. <laughs> I 
I did. I watched both. Used to enjoy both. I used to have the Gladiators board game. <laughs> Maybe I'll play, um, I might like to play a bit of FIFA 95 in a bit. Uh, Taylor's Russell Warren. Has any modern remake cap? Oh, I don't know. Not sure about that one. Les Dawson or Wani Barker? Pff, that's a tough one. Tough one. Ugh. Probably Les. It's oh, it's tough. It depends, really. I don't know. I really like both. I just I think both were so funny. <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Amiga or ST? Amiga, unquestionably. The Chase or Pointless? Gotta be Pointless. I think Pointless is like the best game show to come on in years. I really like Pointless. Ch the Chase is really good too, though. Like, the Chase is good. Very good. But Pointless for me, definitely. Dell Falling Through the Bar or Basil Fawlty twatting a mini with a branch? Despite the damage that he did to it recently, I'd have to go with Basil Fawlty twatting a mini with a branch. Or, no, it wasn't a mini. It was a, it was a Morris, a Morris Marina. Wasn't it? Something like that. Wani James Dio or Ozzy Osbourne? Got to be Ozzy, no question. I like Dio, but Ozzy's just that and so much more distinctive to me. Cheese or cheese spread? Cheese, bloody hell. Cheese spread just is not a fin, <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. I like Broke, Broke and Matt Hardy. Is it right? Gobots or Transformers? Um, Transformers, I guess. Meh. Richard Garrier or Peter Molyneux? Gotta be Molly. I played all the Molly games when I was a kid. I didn't play any of the Ultima games when I was a kid, so yeah, it's gotta be Molly. Right, let's play some FIFA 95. Haven't played this in years. Oh shit, Fusion stopped working. Okay. Have to reopen that. Can all still be seen on stream? Yep, okay. Right, FIFA 95. Yeah, I might play a bit, of, might go back to Spectrum in a bit if I get a good suggestion for it. Or Amiga. It depends what I get a suggestion for. I'm open to them after a bit of FIFA. Thankfully, not the modern one. Uh, right, there we go. Captain Birdseye or Uncle Ben? Uncle Ben. E My favourite shoot 'em up, Ooh, tough one. Uh, I really like like Dodon Patchy and stuff like that. Judas Priest or Iron Maiden? Gotta be Iron Maiden. H R H the Queen or Queen? Gotta be Queen. <laughs> Wed Dwarf or Hitchhiker's Guide? Uh, eh. Hitchhiker's Guide, I guess. Cats or dogs? Definitely cats. I have four of them. <laughs> can these games on emulators have their progress saved properly or was that a wasted play? Yeah, you can do save states. You can save anything on an emulator. And Cloud or Sephiroth? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Cloud. Will I ever review old British comedies? Um, eh, I would like to do some TV at some point. I would definitely actually like to do some. But I don't know what. I keep kind of thinking about it. Right, who should I play as? Let's play as good old England. Oh, shit, I guess I'm playing Italy. Okay, this will be hard. My favourite early to mid-80s portable computer? Uh, 
I don't really have one. Portable computers and like weren't my thing. Portable computers didn't play games and such. Uh, I've got to try and remember the controls for this now. Alright, okay. Oh, hello, cat. I used to play this so much in the back back in the day. Although I really find these games hard to control now. I think the main thing I remember about these was just slide tackling all over the place like that. And just breaking people's legs. <laughs> like so. Shit. Mm. James Pond or Buzz or Bubsy? James Pond. <laughs> I was a proud member of the James Pond fan club for one month. God, did someone just mention Lex? I remember watching the first episode of that and really liking it. It was shown on Channel 5 once at like midnight. It was an interesting show. <laughs> Viz or Mad Magazine? Viz, for sure. Yeah, there are fouls in this game, but weirdly they're turned off by default. As are offsides. Which is kind of, it's kind of strange, but... <laughs> Trying to get a ball in there, but it didn't really work. David Hayter or Kiefer Sutherland? Come on, man. <laughs> no, I don't. I didn't. I don't think I ever watched Brimstone, Mick. Let's try and get a ball up the field. Come on. Ugh. Come on. Oh shit. Uh, good save. Oh! <laughs> Bit Girls or Spice Girls? I used to love the Spice Girls back in the day. So I would have to go for them, to be honest with you. Oh, come on, we were nearly in the area there. Hmm. It's funny, just like new FIFA, it's hard to get the ball here too. Yeah, Brickman, yeah, there's loads of games that still come out for the Spectrum. Probably the most recent one I played was um, Castlevania Spectral Interlude, which was really good. And is definitely worth checking out. Ah, look at those injuries. Look at those hot, spicy injuries. <laughs> I'll call Infidel. Oh, son of Tommy. Shoot! Oh, what a goal! Nicely done! Do I like Bruno Mars? Um, I hear a couple of his sons in passing, Gail. Um, sometimes they're all right in that sort of funky way. I know, okay. Embassy number one or BNH? Neither. Ugh. I think you have to say that was liquid football. Oh shit. Go on, get it. There you go. Nice bicycle kick for no reason there. But seriously, did you... Did you see the way that my guy beat the defender there and then just smashed it in from the edge of the heavier? From outside it, even. 
It was a pretty good goal. I'm quite pleased with myself for that. Go on, get it up there. Get it up there. Didn't this game have commentators? Um, not a Mega Drive, no. Clear it. I have to say, this is still my definitely my favourite sixteen bit FIFA. Got to be XTC or Duran Duran. Uh, Duran Duran actually probably, which might be surprising. I never really got into NXT. I mean. XTC. <laughs> NXT. <laughs> How old am I? Um, I'm in my early 30s. I just kind of, you know, it's the area I'm interested in mostly. The social times, and I speak to a lot of people. The best 16-bit football game, Sensi. Sensi World of Soccer. Come on, let's score. Come on. Ugh, hit the ball, damn it. Brian May's Poot Poodle or Freddy's Stash. I think I'd have to go with the Stash on that one. Ooh, nice tackle there. It was a great tackle. It wasn't a foul at all. Easily saved. Easily saved. <sighs> Come on, win that ball. Is that it? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's hold out for this last minute. I can't say I did dip chasm. Or dip chasm, rather. Sounds, sounds odd. <laughs> oh shit, it's flicked it on nicely there. Don't let him shoot. Ugh. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him shoot. Ooh, that's close. 15 seconds left. 16 even. Sadly, Hugo, I, I'm not sure if there's really a market for that sort of thing. If there's a market for like a sort of non, non-realistic football game. Maybe, I don't know, maybe not even on mobile. Okay, we're in extra time. Ah, that's it, we won! Yay! Hee <laughs> hee! Uh, Rupert Dreyfus, the new channel is um, Uncut Kim, it's called. You can find a link on the Potty Pigeon video for the channel. It's called The Uncut Kim, so if you search that you'll find it. Or alternatively, you can wait for my new video to come on Monday, and there'll be a link to it in there. Right, we'll have one more game of this, and then that's probably going to be the end of the stream. So who should we play this time? We'll have a club match. 
let's play. Unfortunately, you can't play as South End in this game. So I guess I'll play with. Um, I'm going to close my eyes actually. I'm going to play as Knott's Forest. Great, thanks. Oh shit, no, I didn't want to play as against Italy again. Oh god. I keep screwing up. Oh god, this is going to be bad. I keep on thinking that, oh, I'll press C and then I'll be able to choose the next team, but no, it just goes to the next screen. So now I'm playing against Italy again with a substantially worse team. Mind you, I'm not sure how much that really matters in this FIFA. Damn it, pick up the ball. Yeah, I mean, there was FIFA Street. I mean, FIFA Street was all right. I'm not sure if it ever really sold as much as they hoped it would. Shoot! Oh. I mean, I heard much better things about both NFL Street and NBA Street than I did about FIFA Street. I mean, well, I've played FIFA Street, and meh. it's interesting, I think is the word. It's not a bad game, but it's presentation is just so naff. <laughs> Shoot! Oh, got a corner. <coughs> a darts street. <laughs> That'd be funny. Oh, close. That was close. <coughs> Golf street. There have been there have been some kind of silly modes to that effect in like the Tiger Woods games over the years, but um, I think that's all gone now. Do South End still play at Woods Hall? Um, yes, they do, although not for much longer. There's a new stadium being built. Ouch! You bastard. Hey, Bobinator. How you doing? Oh, shit. Ooh. Ah, bum. The Tizier or Burkamp? Gotta be Burkamp. Just gotta be. Worst kit ever. Ooh, the worst kit ever. Kind of obvious answer. Man United's like original, like I think 1996 away kit that was grotesque, and I think Blackburn had a similar one around that time that was wretched. There were a lot of terrible 90s kits, like just absolutely horrendous. Ooh, good save from the keeper. We're really getting done here by Italy. Having trouble getting anywhere. Having trouble even getting the ball up the field. Ah, cool. See you later, Russell. Cheers for joining in. Hope, glad you've enjoyed the stream. Yeah, the grey one. Oh, I remember it was funny because I remember um, like one of the classic um, Alex Ferguson excuses for losing a game. First game of that season, 95-96, like... United lost 3-1 to Aston Villa, famous like can't win anything with kids game. And I think Alex Ferguson was like, oh, the kit that we were using, it was hard for the players to see each other. Like just some ridiculous excuse like that, like for losing that match. And that was David Beckham's first goal for United, or first like get goal in the league anyway. If I remember right. Yeah, so 1-0.
difficult game so far. Yeah, all the NHL games, the 16-bit NHL games are just brilliant, all of them. I can't think of a single bad one. <laughs> Playing this is certainly a much more sedate experience than playing FIFA 17, it has to be said. Celtic's Bumblebee kit. Oh dear. <laughs> I want, There must be a Twitter somewhere. There has to be a Twitter with, like, crap 90s football kits. I mean... <laughs> there has to be something that... Or just crap football kits. If not, that's a definite missed opportunity. I know there's a Twitter that I follow called Crap 90s Football, which just shows all these brilliant old clips of... Ow! Of football being ter of terribly played football. Like, from the 90s in England, mostly. <laughs> like, mostly from the lower leagues. <laughs> it's a really funny Twitter and worth looking at, if you haven't. Okay, so we're 2-0 down. That wouldn't surprise me, Casey. Especially not back in those days. Hey, Asagi Jojo. Ugh, just can't get anywhere against these guys. Come on, come on, take the ball. Take the ball. Jump the tackle. Oh, we managed to get a volley going there. Maybe a Brit can save the States. <laughs> We can't save ourselves at the moment, let alone America. Our South End on this game, or, or, or on that crap 90s football thing, um, yeah, I think they featured a few times. <laughs> oh, look at that keeping! <laughs> I'll call Cheers Psycho Stalker. I mean, that was not a good shot by any stretch of the imagination. It was a low shot right in the middle of the goal and the keeper just flumped to it. On FIFA 17, that is a controller throwing moment. <laughs> good stuff, Walter. <laughs> Apologise! <laughs> A stream where Forrest gets a beat in you, there was a reason I subbed you. <laughs> oh, I thought that was going to be another goal. Okay, cool. See you, Belucius. Yeah, Dan, I'm pretty sure that there's been a few old South End clips on there. Oh, God. Our keeper is terrible. Cool, see you, Gail. So it's 4-0. I, I think we're still in this game just about. We've got a minute to turn it round. Oh, that could have been a goal. Exactly, that is Mark Crossley indeed. Apparently Mark Crossley once got hung up on a, on like a coat rack by Brian Clough. Which is no mean feat, because, I mean, Brian Clough wasn't exactly tall or anything, and Mark Crossley was fucking hell. <laughs> was built like a brick shit house, <laughs> And apparently Brian Clough just grabbed him and hung him up on a coat rack by the scruff of his <laughs> neck. 
Yeah, we're definitely still in this game. I've 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 still got a hope. <laughs> Lesson learned, don't play as Nottingham Forest on this game. Oh god, yeah, there was, wasn't there, Slushy? Uh, I mean, goalie kits were just... <laughs> goalie kits just looked like someone had just vomited on a t-shirt. <laughs> Right, come on. Let's get a goal here. Get it! Oh, Not a bad try. Not a bad try. We can at least try and get a consolation. Mm, not like that. Oh, dear with me. Uh, best football soccer game for somebody who's a total beginner to the sport. Uh, I don't know. As far as modern ones go, well, I mean, you've got two choices. FIFA and Pro Evo. <laughs> These days. So, I don't know. I guess try demos of both, see which one you prefer. This is on Mega Drive, Octobet. Uh, right, guys, um, unfortunately, this is going to have to be the end of the stream. Because I have to prepare things upstairs for my new kitten. It's going to be sleeping in here tonight. So I've got to do some prep on that before it's time for her to go to bed, so to speak. So um, thank you so much for what's been an awesome stream. Thank you for all the questions. I've had a lot of fun answering them. Um, yeah, um, new video coming up on Monday. Which will be about Doom. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> Thanks to all the people in chat. You've all been awesome tonight. It's been a good one. So yeah, I shall be back again with another stream. Like, uh, sometime next week. Some night that I'm free. So yeah, thank you all for watching. And wherever you are, whoever you be, have a good one. Take care and I will see you next time. Bye bye folks. Bye for now. Take care. Good night. <laughs>